Hello everybody and welcome back to Kamen Rider Batride War 2. I know, random long intro, but I'm kind of pumped. I, I made an omelette today and the omelette was damn good. So, uh, let's get into this. Now, the writers are two secondary writers I don't want to talk about yet, and Kiva. As much as I'd love to do Kiva, though, I want to keep playing as Blade because Blade's mission is coming up and I want to give him some time to shine. So, plus, you know, give him an extra few levels that way, you know, things work out better for us. Alright, so let's get started with this. Alright, I'm just checking to make sure. Make sure I got everything I want, got the figures I want, got some. Got some okay stuff. Okay, let's get started with this. Alright. It's time for Blade to, to get shaken here. Okay, let's see. Uh, I mean, there's, mo there's guys, but it doesn't look like I'm supposed to be here specifically. Oh, wait, the bike in these kinds of levels is a bit weird. Okay, oh, here we are. Ah! Come on. Okay, here we go. Come on, what do I want to do? Uh, let's try you. I forgot what you did, but you know. You, you did something. Let's try you! Hey, that's my rider kick. Or, or a rider kick. New Deno? Weather Dopont! Oh, uh, this is the one mission I hate, isn't it? Yeah, I have to kill a certain uh, group of guys, but New Deno is going to disappear before I can even get to him. But yeah, okay, let's see. I have to destroy some keepers. Come on. The annoying thing about these keepers, though, is that... Come on. The annoying thing about these keepers are they're the Mirror Monster Keepers from Kamen Rider Ryuki. Now, the problem with that, I see, is that... Hey, guess what? They like to fly a lot. And I hate them when they fucking fly. See? That shit right there. I don't like that. I, I know you're a keeper, but screw you for trying to do that. Come on. Ah, uh, I thought I had you. Come on. Die. Did you die? Good. Don't worry, you didn't know. I'm coming to help you. Asshole, did you just disappear and now I have to fight weather on my own? Screw you! Did some, did some thunder magic right there. Don't worry. There we go. Broke through his guard with that good attack. Sadly, I'm not. I'm barely getting any points because I need to break through his guard in order to actually hit him. There we go. Let's try you. Oh, his lightning rider kick. That is great. 
Uh, can I try that again? No, that's too much. Okay. Well, can Banana Man finish him? No, he can't. Alright, I'll just finish you like this. There we go. Alright, that area is unlocked, so let us head here. And let us head here, and we have more guys to deal with. Too bad, I, I, I guess I uh, jumped the gun on the rider kick too early. Uh, I do enjoy, uh, what's it called? Uh, Blades, uh, Blades rider kick where he's all like, lightning, lightning mo- what, what was it? I can't remember, lightning mock, some, something like that. The, the cool thing about Blade was they could use like individual cards, obviously, but the cooler attacks were built with the combination of cards, like with how uh, with how he does his signature rider kick. At least I call it a signature rider kick. But yeah, uh, what's it called? I, I thought that, that was a cool concept. Blade is probably my second favorite card rider. Uh, there's only three of them, obviously. Ryuki's my least favorite, uh, and... Uh, Decade's probably my favorite, despite not liking Decade the show itself, because, well, you know, reasons. Alright. Now, how is that for an ending, let me tell you. Now, where am I go supposed to go now? I guess I'll roam around on my bike, figure out where I need to go. Maybe back towards the beginning? I, I think back towards where I started would be a a good guess. Yep. All right. What do we got here? Oh, hey, we haven't seen you yet. Sagittarius Zodiarts. Remember how I was talking or horoscope or whatever. Remember how I was talking about the uh the uh what's it called the horoscopes? Yeah. Oh, there we go, Baron. He may have done his attack, but we're able to do that. Okay. Let's see if we can break through his uh, guards. Keep, keep pushing him back. Just gotta keep pushing him back because he's gonna... Oh. There we go. some more. You know what, let's go for a royal straight flush. How about that? Be careful, Sagittarius Zodiard, or horoscope or whatever you're called. Okay, I don't know if I can win this, but I can at least stall it. I can at least stall it. I can at least stall it. There we go. go. Now, I should warn you, Sagittarius Zodiard, that I have been dealing with Poker, Poker Night 2 lately, so I am more than capable of using these cards to kick your ass. Can, uh, where's the three card I want? Uh, can I use the three card? I don't think I can use the three card. Uh, no, I, uh, can I? No, I can't. Oh, well. Sad to say, but I wasn't able to perform my rider kick on him. Oh, this mission kind of kind of took a bit, but because I'm cutting out load times, I think we should be good. So I'll probably see you guys once we get past this next loading screen for the actual Blade movie mission. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. I know I am. Okay, okay. Let us get to uh, Blades movie, which is also has a you know 
um, an English title, Missing Ace. Now this was still when they were doing alternate universe things like with Agito and so on. Uh, basically with Missing Ace it was an, a different alternate ending. Uh, the ending to Blade was pretty much he and the other writer, uh, Chalice, who was also a uh, a Joker because they were all, the, the monsters were kind of based on, like, card suits and stuff. But basically, he was a Joker. Uh, something happened to where they, they had to fight and basically win. But Blade became a Joker himself, the, uh, the Navy Joker, I believe. And he... Uh, he basically stayed away from the uh, Chalice in order to stop the Rider wa the Rider War, uh, or not the Rider War, but to stop the world from coming to an end. Because as long as they there they exist, like separate and not fighting, then you know the the world won't end. This was basically a ending where he didn't become a Navy Joker, and he sealed Ch uh, Chalice Joker. Uh, he he sealed him away. And that's basically the gist of it. Except, you know, this asshole named Albino Joker decided to, uh, he wanted the world to burn. He wanted ultimate power, something like that. I can't remember Albino Joker's main backstory and reasoning. Ba but basically he was an asshole and he wanted to use the regular Joker's power for his own. Uh, and in the movie he did and he became this giant CGI abomination that blade had to cut in half which admittedly was kind of cool but also hokey at the same time but yeah uh, the, but yeah we have uh, jokers here and you want to know the best part about these two jokers so do you want to know the best part about these two jokers I know I'm repeating myself but they're pretty much identical they're just palette swaps you know how easy that they basically both appeared in the last game which is hilarious because, you know, reasons. But yeah, we will be getting on to Blade Missing Ace right now. Alright, let us get started with Blade Missing Ace. Oh, and we've got Joker. We've got regular Joker already. Is he our ally? Is he our ally in this fight? Yeah, he is. Thing about in this uh, universe, despite having sealed Joker away, there's you know because he wanted to stop the end of the world, Blade did. Uh, they're still friends, even like when he unseals him, because you know they they basically there are four writers in Blade: Blade, Chalice, who's Joker, Garen, who we'll see er, probably soon, and then Liangle. Uh, Liangle, I don't think, appears in any of the Botride War games, but yeah. Uh, he doesn't appear in any of the Botride War games, I believe. But that doesn't matter here and now. But basically, they're all like, hey, we need to. Uh, we need all four riders together to even try and stop this thing. So they unseal Joker in order to get them. Get, uh, help them out. Uh, man, I am like walloping through these guys, like seriously. Oh, Albino Joke is making his appearance. Alright, asshole, let us fight. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to get to the area first, okay. Oh, they're on the other side too. And you, dick move, albino joker. You're you're gonna make me fight all these guys so that I can't get to you and help my friend, regular joker. Except he's not a regular joker because he's technically not Mark Hamill or Heath Ledger, or this joke is running on way too long, isn't it? Go, banana man. We have to. We have to. We have to save our friend, Mister Mister Joker. Mr. J. Oh God! Why did I just call jo the Joker undead, Mr. J? I am so sorry, people. Don't worry, uh, I'm coming 
to save you. Joker, the UK. No, my, my Mr. J. Damn you, albino Joker. You'll pay for that. You'll pay for that dearly. Alright, albino joker, I am coming to kick your ass. Did you just knock me out of jack form? Holy shit! I, I transformed into jack form for a second and he just knocked me out of jack form, what the hell? Or did I take too much damage with Jack? I, 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 no, because I thought I'd use Jack from for a bit with the other guys. Come on, Mr. Baron, we're gonna, we're gonna kick his ass together. You do not mess with Mr. J and get, get away with it. And now I'm gonna be calling the Joker and Dead Mr. J. Okay, you know what? Distraction. Let's see how you like my poker skills, bitch. And we are done, good sir. Let's just ignore he transformed into king form and we were already in king form. But basically, it does the same move to the giant abomination. But obviously, because they didn't want to use model set abomination, uh, we just get this scene, which is still pretty cool in and of itself. I like Blade King form. Blade King form is—he's an all right guy. He's the kind of guy you want to hang out with. So yes, we will be dealing with the next chapter. Oh, I got something for Blade. Interesting. Anyway, let's let's move on now, shall we? All right, looks like we're moving on. We we got through like seven, eight, seven, eight or so writer movies already. This is becoming a bit easy peasy. And what the hell, Gaim? Well, I haven't used Gaim in a while, so you know, I guess he's due for a run. Oh, cinema. Oh yeah, this is the part where cinema's all like, "Hey, I want to make a never-ending movie." It's all like, "Yeah, but I mean, we can't just like stop it now, can we?" Like, I mean, can can he just stop that never-ending movie nonsense? Since you know, we gotta we gotta think of these guys. Come on, they don't want to do this forever. And you know, cinema's all like, "Screw you, guy! I have a vision." I want to see my vision through to the end, and your little reimaginings of writer things aren't going to make my my things come true or whatever. I don't freaking know. I don't know what he's saying. Cinema is a cool villain, though. I, I, look at that design, like seriously, and now he's glowing blue. Yeah, the, basically, this is where Cinema decides, hey, I'm gonna defect, and we're gonna make a never-ending movie, okay? And we're going to play by my rules because, you know, we're going to get my finale. I'm assuming, anyway. Yeah, this is the turning point. And this is where cinema makes a pretty asshole move. I'm not going to lie. He has an even bigger asshole move later, but... Oh, hey. The guy's all like, what the fuck happened? Why are we here? What's going on? But, so... Uh, he's an asshole. Cinema's an asshole. 
he basically made clones of every single Kamen Rider up to Gaim and Ryugan and Baron. And guess what? We're gonna have to fight them all. And guess what? We're gonna have to fight them all at their strongest forms. Actually, I don't even... I, I forget if we have to fight Gaim at his strongest form. But, yeah. General gist of it. Shit is getting real now, apparently. And also, I am getting annoyed because now we have the filler segments, which are the purple tickets, and let me tell you, screw, screw that, good sir. Uh, can I, um, I think I'm able to pick Ryugan again. Yeah, Ryugan was cool. Uh, I, I did like, uh, Zeronos, but you know, Ryugan all the way. Alright, Gaim time, and we're already thrust into a battle. Good, 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 good stuff. Alright, if we're getting serious, I need to get to the serious form, which is Dean Belevin. There we go. Wait, what? Who's... Oh! Baron. I've noticed you guys like to block a lot more than usual. Well, you, well, you know what? F screw you, Baron. I, I, I have the strawberry arms of friendship. What the fuck is happening right there? Dude, did you see that? Wait, can I do that again? Okay, uh, he was doing that, but he was glitching out like major. It looked like he was glitching out majorly for some reason. Gonna wanna, gonna wanna deal with you guys, kind of. Because if I leave too many of you guys out, then I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sorry for it later. There are a lot of defenders. I feel like I feel like the reason people block are because of the defenders. That's just me though. Oh right, we got this this hourglass thing. You don't wanna attack this too rapidly. You, 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 you don't want to attack this too rapidly, let me tell you. The, the hourglass guys usually... Oh, hey, we have Ryugan and Baron, probably, I think. Or is it just Ryugan that showed up? Uh, I'm gonna kick your ass anyway, Ryugan. Five ways to Sunday. You're probably the evil Ryugan from the show, because... Well, fuck you. Uh, okay, not fuck you. Oh, uh, so basically the the red hourglasses are like evil hourglasses, and you need to watch out for them, basically. Of course, I have to beat you freaking keepers in order to kill kill that gate. Bit of a long episode today, guys, but hey, you know. We got a major plot thing going, so, you know. Can't go for the short episodes, can't pull the punches. Oh, lovely Gaim! Gaim, screw you, Gaim. Wait, I, I am Gaim, so screw me? Let's make sure I can't tell who is doing what.
keep it, keep go, keep, keep blocking, guy. That, that ain't gonna help you. Trust me. Oh, oh, we're gonna play that game now, aren't we? Well, you know what? Two can play at that game. I'm going Kachidoki Arms. I swear to God, if you miss a good. There we go. Killed Gaim. And you survived Kachidoki Arms. Consider yourself lucky, Baron. Let's kill you, Baron, before you have a chance to screw me over. Oh, look, Ryugan, you're the last one. Perfect. Thank you for fucking shooting me. So long as I stay in close range, you can't kill me. Let's go. There we go. I have defeated you. I have defeated you all. Well, this is going to be a bit stupid. I can already tell. Actually, no, I remember from my previous playthrough, I thought this part was stupid. The whole evil riders and their strongest forms that you have to beat, shit. Padding. Unrelenting padding. But I'll talk more about that ticket system when we get to the next part. We're kind of running over time. I'll be seeing you guys next time for another episode of Common Rider Bot Tried War 2.